In this video, we want to look at how to graph the quadratic parent function. Remember, the quadratic parent function is the one that is y equals x squared. This one forms a parabola. And this is the parabola that all other parabolas want to be like. Um, all other parabolas are just a version of this one. They may be fatter, skinnier, taller, or spread out more, or something of that nature, but they all have a basic U-shape. Remember, parabolas are the ones that are U-shaped. So, let's see how we could graph this. Just as we talked about at the beginning of the year, we could put anything that comes after the Y equals in our function machine. And this shows us that whatever we throw in, we're going to square and then throw out. So let's jot down some points. Oh, it's a good place to start, jotting down some points. Information we know. All right, say I pick some points to throw in. We'll just pick negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Those are some of the most basic points that everybody throws in to see what their function looks like. So negative 2. If I take negative 2 and put it in our function machine, that's negative 2 squared. So that's negative 2 times negative 2. That would give us a positive 4. If I did the same thing with a negative 1, throw it in and square it, that would be negative 1 times negative 1, which would give me a positive 1. If I throw in a 0, 0 times 0 would be 0. If I throw in a 1, that would be 1 times 1, which is 1. And if I throw in a 2, a 2 squared would be 2 times 2, which is 4. Now let's start with these five points and see if we can graph our quadratic parent function. So first thing we need is a graph. So we'll go ahead and sketch ourselves an x and y axis. And then we need to plot the points we came up with. Negative 2, 4. Negative 2, positive 4. Negative 1, positive 1. 0, 0. 1, 1. And 2, 4. This is the basics of a parabola. The very, very basics. Notice when we went over 1, we go up 1. When we went over 2, we go up 4. If I wanted to add a point to that, I could do 3. If I throw in a 3, 3 times 3 is going to give me 9. So for our next one, if I wanted to continue, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. If you haven't started to see it yet, you might notice that this side and this side are going to be symmetrical, which means if I went to negative 3 and squared it, I would have a point right up here that would be symmetric to the other point I drew. So if I went 1, 2, 3, and up 9, it would be at the same place as I am on the right side. Now, when we connect this, we want to connect it with a smooth curve. We don't want to necessarily have it come to a point. We want it to be curved. So this is what gives us our U-shape. That's how you would draw a quadratic parent function, or how we would graph y equals x squared. 